There's Smiley. So this morning, I'm gonna not not dog talk uh, with Smiley, anyways. And a, a few days ago, I did a thing. Is this uh, about? Some person that reached out to me through Facebook Messenger and then said, hey, let's connect on WhatsApp and we talk or whatever. It's good to talk to people, you know what I mean? That's it, because that's kind of how that was first started, right? So people could meet other people and blah, 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 you know, meet other people. But, uh, so I posed the question in my brain. That's what I do with these. I just kind of, it's me thinking out loud, right? So. Uh, uh, trying to get better at public speaking even though I'm already old um, and I might give up on it <clears throat> my public speaking has never gotten better I've tried, I've been forced into the situation and it didn't work so well uh, some stuff you can force through and some stuff you can't um, but anyways the point is is I post a question is this a uh, uh, AI bot? Is it a FBI person or a regular, uh, like the FBI looking for people posting stuff they don't like on Facebook because that's what they do. They're doing that nowadays. They're allowed to spy on American people for no reason. Uh, thank you, Barack Obama. Um, <clears throat> uh, anyways, the tangent. And then I said, or is it a real person? So now, oh, what happened? Dude, you stepped on a stick. <laughs> What's up, girl? <laughs> Did you step on that stick and it freaked you out? What's up with that? There ain't nothing in there, silly head. All right, come on. Uh, so, now we're talking, right? It's all just been whatever talk, you know? That's what people do. Uh, and... If this person is a person, she says some uh, kind of crazy stuff. I'm like, man, whatever, dude. Uh, so it's kind of weird, but not that weird. So, uh, so yesterday she was like, "Hey, can you do me a favor for my kids?" I was like, uh, "You can ask, and I'll try. But whether I can or not is a different story. <laughs> can always ask anything. I don't care." Anybody can ask me anything. I'll tell my whole life story. I don't hold nothing back. I ain't scared to say shit about anything. Um, I don't like to cause conflict with people. So in those situations, I do kind of watch myself. But about my life, I'll, you know, anything that's happened, I'll tell it. I don't care. Right? It's the past. The past is what made me who I am now. I believe I'm a pretty good dude now. I mean, I was a good dude back then, too. When I was young, I was just obnoxious. Obnoxious. Too partying. But anyways. Turns out, this person uh, was like, Hey, can you get me a, for the kids, a, a iTunes card or some other shit? I don't know what it was. So they can play games? I'm like, wait. You tell me you're in finance, so you're making some good money. You live in a, you supposedly have a nice house. The picture of you and the kid in the car is a nice big old car. The dad's not in the picture, uh, suppose, you know, divorced, uh, if if it's all real, right? <laughs> so I was thinking that at first. I was like, okay, what is this person trying to do as a scam, right? Uh, because that's the other thing. If it is a real person, unfortunately, in this world that we're living in today, the first thing has to be, is this some kind of scam? Now, if this person is a... Hold on. All right. All right. So if this person is a scammer, it sure is a long scam, right? Because... Well, it's been like five or six days and they they send me a lot of messages right uh, a lot of you know just whatever dumb stuff what are you doing today uh, 
here's what I did, you know, just the same old dumb shit, and then ask like weird questions, hey, I like this song, do you like this song, you know, stupid shit like that, so, <laughs> but see, everything always comes down to, hey, get me something, now, and it's weird, because it's been, like, I mean, five days is that long to go for a scam, if you can scam somebody out of a bunch of shit, <laughs> I don't know how, how can they scam you on, see, I have to try to play around with this now, because how can they scam you if you send a gift card, was it, is it called a gift card, an e-card, from iTunes and stuff? I don't know, because I don't ever use that shit, right? I don't ever use that shit, so I don't know how it could be a scam. I have to look into it. And it could just be some lonely girl that met somebody, but that's that's the, those are the scammers, right? The girls. <laughs> or people posing as girls, I should say. You never know. Maybe they are mostly men that are just like in their mom's basement posing as girls. Dude, and these days, it could actually be like a 10-year-old kid because some, some of the writing was kind of weird, right? Some of the writing was like, what? what? That's why I started thinking it was FBI people that weren't looking back at their at the messages. Because <laughs> the way stuff was worded, I'm like, huh. So now, maybe it's just some 10-year-old kid at his computer at home going, dude, my mom and dad ain't gonna buy me no damn games. Let me go scam somebody. But if that's the case, they got a pretty intricate little story. I mean, kids are smart these days with all the technology brain. Ain't that right, Smiley? Ha, ha, ha. You back up, they come right to you. Back up a little, they come right to you. Anyways, so n now that's my new, my new thing is, pretty sure it's not an AI thing because the, the wording would be a lot better. Uh... It, it could still be FBI people watching because uh, cause I watch anti-establishment people and post it on Facebook. And then it could be a real person that just kind of came across me and was like, hey, this guy looks like he's a cool guy. Let's make friends. Right? And then it could be a scammer. Probably a scammer. All right, anyways. Blah, blah, blah. Me and Smiley out of here, buddy.